Gang, this is the second of the Easter Knots that I recommend. Of course, the first I posted when I first started this channel called the Redemption Knot. Uh, so we're about to get naughty again with the naughty professor, Billy. And I'm going to show you how to tie this knot. This is called a Trinity Knot. Um, it's been around for a long time. It's one of my favorites, especially if you have a shirt that is narrow where it comes together right here at the collar. It's a perfect knot for that. You can embellish it and make it a little bit larger where it's not so loose but I'm gonna show you how to do it and so I'll take this down and uh, we'll get started alright so first thing you want to do is make sure your collar is popped up and because this is not a very hungry knot uh, you're gonna put the tip of the blade a little bit closer to your belt line and we'll start of course with the pinch bring it to the middle the tail of the tie comes around the front and it's going to start like most ties do tying with the small end around and up through the middle to the other side and up around again that way you've got your basic delta shape bring it around the front again through around the back now this time this is one of the reasons you might want to leave it a little loose uh, at this point so you can tuck that tail right down in between. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. Now the tail now goes around the back and up through the loop you just made. And this is where you start tightening it up because essentially we're done. Cinch it up to your neck. Anything left over, of course, tuck under your collar. All right, here's where you get to beautify it. Use one loop to tighten another, of course. Everything's all tucked up. Make sure it's pretty because you're wearing it to church or wherever, actually. Got to make a good representation when you are in worship. So, collar's down. Tie is tucked. A little more tightening just to make it look pretty. And there you have... A slightly weird looking trinity knot but you've got the basics okay so that's the first or actually the second since I've already posted the video for the redemption knot uh, next is going to be the resurrection knot I'll post another video and hopefully you'll be able to use one of these for your church service any type of celebration for Easter or just for work it's actually a really nice looking tie uh, again if you got to be naughty Make sure you're doing it with a tie. Have a good one and a happy Easter.